Hola amigos, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emma Bennett, I write contemporary romance and I just wanted to give you a bit of an update on my Camp Nano project. So we are halfway through camp now, are we? 30 days have September, April, yeah, okay, so I'm doing so well with this video. It's been a morning. Right, we are halfway through Camp Nano. It is the 15th of April today. As you can see, it's a glorious sunny day, which is rather lovely. It's been bonkers, is all I can say. It is getting better, but kind of also more bonkers. So if you haven't watched my other updates, I started camp late because um, I had a manuscript that I needed to get off to my publishers. So, okay, fine, it was only like four days late, that should be okay. But I'd also decided that I was going to write my manuscript for Camp Nano completely on my phone, which added in like a whole other layer of complexity. Now, there's no way that I would have attempted this if I was writing a fiction book because I just don't think that I'd be able to do that. Um, but I was writing a non-fiction book. I'm actually writing a book about how to win NaNoWriMo. Um, and that is actually going pretty well now. I'm happy with it. What would be great though is if anybody's got any stories of Nano, either why they attempted it or things that they had to overcome um, to win Nano or tips and tricks, send me an email, get in touch I would love to include those in my book obviously you'll be credited and I'll put like links to your YouTube Twitter whatever in the book so make sure that you do that anyway yeah so that's going quite well um, writing on the phone is a complete pain in the bum to be honest it has got better since I flipped it so that it was horizontal and I'm using it like a gaming mouse um, some people have asked about the state of my thumbs this one actually is a little sore sometimes um it's not terrible it would probably be a lot worse if i was actually hitting like the word counts i was supposed to be every day so anyway so i started camp with this idea on the fourth great but then it was the easter weekend and so i stopped almost completely for the easter weekend i did write like a couple of hundred words i think but um not much at all and that's because i just i really really wanted to spend the time with my family you know i was working really hard to get that other manuscript done so we haven't had as much family time as i like and also my two oldest boys are off to university in september so i'm really just trying to make the most of the time that we have the six of us until everything changes then so nice easter really chilled lots of board games lots of dog walks lots of eating, lots of cooking, all the good things. Um, came back and kind of got more into camp, although I still wasn't necessarily hitting my word counts like that I needed to every day. Um, but then I realized that actually I should have planned a little better. In my defense, I didn't really have time to plan because I was working so hard on that other manuscript. But um, there's no way that the NaNoWriMo book is going to be as long as 30,000 words. So um, I decided that I was going to have another project as well. And the other project will not be written on my phone. Um, and it is um, a, like a little, I wouldn't call it a book, but like a little pamphlet that I'm going to do um, for people um, about Twitter, basically, Twitter for authors. It was something that I promised when I was doing my Twitter for authors videos as part of my social media for authors. Um, so yeah, I'm getting around to doing that. And um, also that's going quite well. However, mm, this is where it gets a bit complicated. Um, I was looking at um, some of my reviews the other day, which isn't something I do usually and I can't even remember why I was checking them on Amazon so a couple of people had said that they really liked the book they really enjoyed it but they were disappointed that they didn't get to see um, Sergio and Iris the hero and heroine's wedding at the end and that they would have really liked that for completeness so I thought oh wouldn't that be really fun to write either like a short story or maybe even make it as long as a novella with Sergio and Iris finally getting married. Yeah. So 
with my crazy writer brain being the crazy writer brain that it is, I've kind of started plotting that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the words that I'm doing for that into camp as well. So basically over those three projects, I need to get the um, how to win NaNoWriMo first draft completely finished on my phone. But then extra words can be made up of either the Twitter manuscript or the uh, like the sequel to the one that got away. See, there we go. I think I just hate myself. I wonder if I do, because this does not seem like the easiest way to spend April. But at least it will make it easier to get the word count in because, you know, working on three different things, there's always something that I know what I want to write next, even though I haven't had a lot of plotting time for anything. So, yeah, there we go. That's the plan. So I'm really hoping that camp is a little easier for you guys, that you're keeping it simple, that you're enjoying it, that you're not constantly adding more onto it or coming up with stupid provisos like writing on your phone. I'd love to hear how it has been going for you if you would like to let me know down in the comments. I will have another update for you next week so make sure that you look out for that because that will be properly how my new like short story stroke novella is going and whether I'm getting into that, what kind of idea I went with because I've got a couple of, it, of ideas um, of what I want to happen, but it's not quite settled completely. Um, I'm going to be starting making notes on that today. So yeah, please make sure that you like this video if you've enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already to follow along on my crazy capers and I will catch you in the next one.